And also, um, because it's a social networking site, um, they created the, well, they designed the game in a way that it's actually not all individual gameplay. So a large portion of this whole thing is these tournaments that you have that you can participate in as a team. So anybody who has enough experience points can make a team that others can join. And then you basically, during a certain time or a certain week, you give it all you got fishing collectively and you can get prizes as a team. As they show you down here, for example, you'll get little trophies and avatar items that nobody else can get. And within the tournaments, they have then additional challenges like, for example, catch 50 of these frogs as a team in a given period of three hours at four in the morning on a Tuesday and um, you'll get it that'll increase your rank and so forth and then um, right here for the last tournament that they had that takes you to the team page of the winning team who did quite well apparently somewhere here should have a member list yeah um, and if you press on one of those links um, that's sort of like the team link um, it tells you how many Ricky points, which is sort of like the team power, team spirit kind of point, and also um, Dankitsuroku, which is like sort of like um, collaborative points, and it also tells you um, about the history of um, past competitions, how well they did. You can see that Christopher is on um, links where they did not participate, but the other ones said um, they were um, in second place. Okay, if you um, scroll down to the bottom, sorry. Okay, and it'll tell you about who the leader is of this group and how many members there are, how many people are on the waiting list, um, a brief bio description about the team and so, that's, so forth. That's the leader right there. <laughs> um, yeah, he has ten hands, so I'll bet he has an advantage when he's fishing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically, that's uh, in a nutshell how the game works, and uh, they've been hugely, hugely successful with this thing, which actually uh, took them from being way behind in social networking to uh, being uh, very, getting very close to becoming the number one social networking on mobile. And the fishing game is one thing, but they also have kind of uh, games that are based on a on the same or similar mechanic, where you dig for artifacts in a kind of prehistoric context, or you uh, um, garden or take care of a garden and grow stuff and collect stuff. So they created four or five games that are all quite similar and that are really well integrated with individual gameplay and social features. And um, that's basically how stuff works on Mobile Gree. That was Christopher and Kay on Infinita TV. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.